Hello there. This is Margot Rose of Body Aware Grieving, and uh, I thought I would make a little recording for you guys. Uh, I'm actually on vacation. I've flown down. Uh, I have an uncle who lives in Phoenix, Arizona, and a cousin who is a huge sports fan. And so she wanted us to fly down to go to spring training and check out the Giants versus the Dodgers. I went to my first baseball game today. And um, regarding the post as far as why this would become a post for Body Aware Grieving, it's interesting that my uncle had met Barry Zito because I guess he walks the dogs in the same neighborhood where my uncle walks the dogs and that uh, I didn't know who Barry Zito was but apparently he's my cousin was telling me on the plane ride down that he's uh, one of the giants who got awarded this really large contract um, and multi-year you know playing contract but then was performing not as well as people would have wanted and that it's turned into this big thing where people are kind of making fun of him and, and, and you know, that it's turned into this thing that he's not playing even though he's been paid all this money and it's this big scandal. And I did go to the game today, and it's true. When I was walking around, a lot of people were kind of joking and making fun of this guy, Barry Zito. They were saying things like, you know, yeah, yeah, we could trade him and throw in a bag of potatoes and, um, you know, pretty derogatory. People were having fun making fun of him. And I was just thinking of it from his perspective for a moment and, and thinking about the career section of Body Aware Grieving. And, you know, what is it like to sort of have your career change so much when you're, when you're right in the middle of it? I mean, for him to have had so much positive support and now be getting so much ridicule, but he's still in the public eye. And because of this contract, he kind of, I just, I just felt bad for him. I was picturing it would seem like um, being in a school play and you go on to stage and you sort of flub your lines and you can't wait to just run off stage at some point but, and you're told to still stay there and uh, just wait it out while everyone's kind of jeering. And anyhow, I might get the chance to meet him. Apparently he wants to come over to my uncle's house because it's a Frank Lloyd Wright disciple, beautiful house. So. Anyhow, I may or may not get to meet Barry Zito this weekend, and uh, if I do, of course I would love to have an interview. I have no idea if he'd ever be willing to be interviewed about, you know, basically, I mean, it's kind of like grieving for the first part of your career while you're still having the second part of your career and just what that might be like. So anyhow, just a, a quick experiment with using a, a, a recording as a way of talking to you guys and a way of checking in from my vacation and uh, telling what may or may not be a kind of interesting story. But I hope you're all well. I'll let you know if I get to actually meet him and maybe even get an interview for you guys. Uh, take good care. Bye-bye.